Welcome to another episode of Making Numbers Shine. I have my two students coming up right here. Please welcome Natasha and Sandra. Hello, Natasha. Hello. Come on. <laughs> okay. Right. Natasha and Sandra. Now, Natasha and Sandra, what do you know about negative numbers? They're minus. Okay, very good. That they're negative? Okay, excellent answer. Okay, now I can tell that I'm dealing with two superior intelligent people here. Okay, now let's do a simple question. Yes. Okay, so 2 minus 1 equals mm, 10. 1. 1. Thank you very much. It's okay, now, but what happens if I do 1 minus 2? It's a negative number, minus one. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Yeah, so when we go on the number line here, what do we actually do? First one we start here, right? Mm -hmm. And we go one back. So the answer is one. And what do we do on the second one? Mm -hmm. We start at where? One. We start on one, and then where do we go? How many do we go back? Two back right so we need to add another line there um, you're a bit short so you have a disadvantage here do you want to so do you want to go back from this spot minus two right <laughs> almost overshot <laughs> it was a very quick minus two okay and so the answer is therefore minus one right okay now, Tashi, can you hold up one marker pen? Here. Okay, very good. Now, can you hold up two marker pens? Thank you. Can you hold them up? All right. So now, we will illustrate this operation. Okay, I will narrate. Natasha yeah. has two pens. And she gives one to Sandra. We have now illustrated two minus one. Okay, now we will illustrate one minus two. Are you ready, Natasha? <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. Natasha, hold up one pen. All right, now Natasha, give two pens to Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you, you only have one pen. Okay, now please give two pens to Sandra. <laughs> okay, now here's the problem with negative numbers. That's what a lot of people struggle with. And here's the solution. It's called... Getting another pen. No, that's not right. It's called IOU. Uh-huh, yes, that's right. Okay, so how do we resolve this problem? Well, easy, right? So you give her your one pen, first of all. And now you need to give her one more pen, right? So, you now owe Sandra one pen. <laughs> which means that Natasha has exactly minus one pens. Because the moment she was to get a pen, she'd have to give it to Sandra. Right? So, she, therefore, her number of pens in her life right now is minus one. 